Welcome to the Gadget Lab Podcast. I'm Michael Calori. I'm Robbie Baldwin. And we have a special guest this week, Mr. Mike Isaac. Hello, Mike. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine, guys. How are you? We're wonderful. <laughs> Paper Mike Isaac in the studio. What's the story with this, Robbie? So there's a new service that isn't even in beta yet. It's called Foldable.me. And what it does, it allows you to create a version of yourself, a little avatar like Mike Isaac here, and then you can ship it anywhere for 12 bucks. So you, you know, your mom misses you, you can send it to her. And it'll be scored and, and you know, it's, it's really easy to put together. This is mm-hmm. pre-beta, so I had to actually build this myself and cut it out and it was kind of a pain, but um, when they actually have the, the service up and running, it'll, you, everyone, it'll be ready to fold, ready to put together, and you put it by your computer or Whatever. <laughs> or surprise the person by putting it in their, uh, like, you know, poke hole. I don't know. I was going to say, I was going to make a bad joke about making a little voodoo doll out of it. But I, I, would, oh, never, yeah. I would never wish such harms upon our illustrious uh, uh, team member that My. Mike Isaac is. Um, <laughs> so you did you have to take a photo of him or did you just use a photo that you grabbed off of, like, one of his websites or something? I actually had a photo of Mike from, uh, from Bumper Cars. Mm-hmm. Those was good times. Oh yeah, and we all we all went and rode bumper cars it was last pretty week awesome. as, as a team building exercise. One day, if you work hard in school, kids, you too can get a job where you get to go ride in bumper cars. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So I had a picture of Mike, and I used <laughs> that as a frame of reference to uh, to build Mike. It's kind of like building a Nintendo Wii, like a little uh, a me character. Oh, I see. Uh, so you know, they basically all look the same. So if you're taller than somebody else, I mean, yeah, you, what do you do? You just trim off the the bottom of it or something? Or? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I, I, they're all the same size. There's no difference in height or, or build. That's so we cool. all get the same build. And we all get very large heads. Which is fine because I have a large head any, large head anyway. So that's, that's Me too. Like, so they're built for us. Uh, well, with Mike, he'll complain that it doesn't look exactly like him because he's smiling too much in this, right? Yeah, he says, he yeah. Says he's a little too smiley. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when you order something up like this, how much does it cost? Do they know yet? Right, they're saying 12 bucks, 11.99. 12, oh, sorry, you mentioned yeah, that. Yeah. So twelve bucks, and they send it anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. They said they'll ship it anywhere. It ships flat um, in an envelope, so you're not going to get like a box in the mail. They'll just get an envelope and open it up, fold it. Ta-da. That's super cool. You know what's funny is I know that like a lot of people have, uh, you know, there was the craze where everybody made their their Twitter avatar, their Facebook avatar look like a character from Mad Men. Ah, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was the pixelated version of you. So now people are going to be taking Instagram photos mm. of. Their little paper versions of themselves and using as that that is their Twitter profiles. I actually like that better, an Instagram of this, yeah. instead of just going to a website and building it out. Or a hipstamatic. Or hipstamatic, yeah. Or a twit pick. Or twit pick. We don't want to play favorites or anything. Something with a Holga. All right, so there. bye, Mike. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, earlier this week, uh, if you have been reading the Gadget Lab blog, you will notice that Robbie uh, did a test of heat generated by our favorite tablets. Uh, where did this? Where did the story idea come from? So what happened was Consumer Reports uh, reported that the brand new iPad, brand new iPad, that's its name. I'm just going to sure. say iPad three. For, the three <laughs> um, would get up to 116 degrees. If, now here's the, the big if, you played uh, Infinity Blade for 45 minutes while it was plugged in. Now, if you play... And that's it, like a pretty intense like 3D game. Right? Yeah, that's a, it's an intense game, and it's plugged in. And when you have something plugged in, it's usually generating heat from the battery. So I decided to do the same test. And so I did the exact same test. I got to 108 degrees, the iPad 3, playing Infinity Blade for 45 minutes. And I used this fancy heat gun. <laughs> um... <laughs> And so I got to 108. So then I decided, I'm like, well, let's find a control app. So I found an app that works on uh, iOS, on Android, on Blackberry, even on the Kindle Fire. Um, and it is Dead Space. And it's, it's just a 3D shooter. You run around killing creepy monsters. So, so I, like graphics intensive. Yeah, and... it's a graphics intensive game. But I also decided to, to do it like how you play it in the real world. Very rarely do you play or use your iPad while it's plugged in or your right. tablet or your Kindle Fire or whatever. Unless you're like really low on battery. Yeah, unless you're really low on battery and you still got like 45 minutes left of you know Game of Thrones or something. <laughs> so I, I did all the tests and it turns out the iPad, the new iPad, 
and all you know the the BlackBerry Playbook and the uh, Samsung Galaxy S, the Asus Transformer Prime, they all pretty much had this within the same range, 90 to about 97, 98 degrees. Ah, huh. so relatively cool. Yeah, yeah, and and you know I talked to a to a uh, a doctor at the burn unit, and he said, you know, at 120 degrees, if you're submerged in water after five minutes, that will burn you. But of course, water surrounds you. Mm. Um, if you grab something that's like 120 degrees. It's not going to burn you right. You're not going to be like, ah, yeah. like grabbing the you know something off the stove. Yeah, I've noticed that it, like it feels warm to the touch. You're like, yeah, it that's feels warm, know. which is great when you live in San Francisco. Yeah, um, I, I know plenty of times I've used uh, when I used to have a MacBook Pro and it would be cold. I would say to myself, you know what? I need to do some work, and I put it on my lap. <laughs> So that, I mean, that, that does seem to be an issue for some people. They find it uncomfortable to have a laptop physically on their lap. You know, like MacBook Air gets pretty hot. Um, a, a lot of the Ultrabooks get hot, you know, yeah. mostly just because they have super thin cases and they're going with aluminum and there's less chance to vent it and dissipate the mm -hmm. heat and everything. But with a tablet, I mean, you're holding it in your hands. And yeah, you're, you're it's, no one does this. It doesn't really seem like heat would be an issue. Well, I, I mean, know. I'm sure someone does, but for the most part, when I use it, I'm doing this and yeah. this, and it's it's meant to be held. Yeah. So it, it seems sort of like a uh, sort of like a non-issue. Would you rate it as a non-issue? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's a non-issue. Um, I mean, it's if I if, if Infinity Blade were available on all of those uh, tablets, and I was able to create like a, an actual experiment like with a control. And they had all those tablets plugged in. I'm sure I could probably get them up to about the same temperature, probably about 110 degrees. Well, actually, I think the coolest part about this whole experiment was that uh, we came in possession of this Radio Shack. Um, this is a what a digital a laser thermometer where you point yeah. the laser at any object and it it gives you a digital readout on the screen of what the actual temperature of that of that object is, and it works up to. I don't know what, 15 feet, something like that. It, it'll, it'll, it goes for a while. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of fun. So of course we spend a long, a lot of time walking around the office and walking around our homes, taking um, measurements of things. Uh, the back of Mike Isaac's real head, the back of Mike Isaac's paper head. Yeah. Uh, those were, those were two. There was like a three or four degree difference. <laughs> we won't tell you which one's hotter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, lunch, food, burger versus falafel. Yeah, yeah. I went to McDonald's and busted open a uh, an apple pie and shot the inside of that. <laughs> Wasn't as hot as I'd hoped. Really? Yeah. Hot enough to burn though, right? Not really. Oh, it was 120 okay. degrees. It was. I think they they're kind of they're toning toning down the heat <laughs> so it doesn't burn the inside of your mouth. Um, speaking of burning the inside of your mouth. <laughs> That's all the news and all the time that we have this week. We will be back next week on the Gadget Lab with more news, more cool gadgets to show you, and maybe even more paper representations of ourselves. And then it will be left to you to decide which version is real and which is the simulacrum. Until then.